In this video, I'm going to show you an example of proof by exhaustion. So we're going to prove that 97 is a prime number. Okay? Now you've got to think to yourself, well, how would you go about showing that 97 is a prime number? And probably your first thought is, I'm going to divide 97 by all the numbers between uh, 1 and 97 and show that uh, none of them work. Okay? That would be one way of doing it. However, we don't need to divide 97 by all of them. Okay? Um, we only need to do actually a few, as we'll see. So we'd start with 97 divided by 2. We divide it by 2 first. Okay? So 97 divided by 2. Well, 97 divided by 2 is 48 remainder 1. I'm, I'm not going to go into decimals. I'm going to go back to uh, primary school using a remainder. Okay? Because I just need to show that it doesn't go in exactly. Then we try 97 divided by 3. Okay, so 97 divided by 3 uh, is 32 remainder 1. So 3 doesn't work either. 3 is not a factor. Now, would I try dividing by 4? Well, the answer is no. I wouldn't try dividing by 4 because if 2 didn't work, then 4 definitely won't work. Okay, so I wouldn't bother dividing by 4. Next one I try is 97 divided by 5. So 97 divided by 5 um, goes in 19 times remainder 2. OK, so 5 doesn't work. Now, would I try 6? OK, well, I wouldn't try 6 because I know that 2 didn't work and 3 didn't work. 6 would work if both 2 and 3 worked. OK, so because 2 times 3 is 6. So I wouldn't bother trying 6. So the next one I try is 7. Notice how I'm using dividing by prime numbers here. That kind of saves time. Now, 97 divided by 7. Well, 70, then uh, 21, so 13, remainder 6. So 7 doesn't work either. OK? Now, how far do I need to go? Do I need to go any further than this? Well... If there were two numbers that multiplied together to make 97, okay, then they must, uh, the pair of numbers must be either side of the square root of 97. Okay, one must be larger and one must be smaller, unless they're actually equal, or they're both equal to the root 97. So, for example, if you were looking at um, 18, if you were looking at the number 18, then with 18, you can write that as 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, OK? Square root of 18 um, is 4 point something. So you can see that in all three cases, the three, well, the pairs are between four point something, between the square root of 18. So, in other words, if I haven't hit a factor below root 97, there won't be any roots, uh, any factors afterwards either. So, the square root of 97, well, the square root of uh, 81 is 9, the square root of 100 is 10, and so this must be 9 point something. OK, so I don't need to go anywhere further than 9. So would I try 8 now? Well, 2 didn't work, so 8 definitely won't work, so I wouldn't bother with 8. And would I try 9? Well, I wouldn't try 9 because 3 didn't work. So essentially, all I needed to do was go through these three to show that 97 is a prime number. OK? Now, that is an example of proof by exhaustion, because I have tried all of the different possible ways of dividing 97 by a number, and none of them worked. OK? 
So that means that 97 has precisely two factors, only one and itself, and hence it is prime.